welcome to Las Vegas as we're here for Las Vegas Lights versus Pittsburgh in the USL Championship. Something which is really famous in Las Vegas is funny enough, it's sign. Behind me is a sign, it's a really big factor of Las Vegas, this sign. Um, for World Cup purposes, it's a no from me. But instead of it being a normal football vlog, I want to incorporate a bit of the culture around USA and especially one of the wonders of the world, which is the Grand Canyon. It's 6 a.m. in Vegas right now, and we're off to see one of the wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon. Now let's go see it. <laughs> Hours later, we are here. I'll tell you what, I've just been on the skywalk and it was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. It's not something you can say you've been too often and it was incredible. I've had worse views on a Friday afternoon. This is just incredible. There's not more I can say really. I know I'm used to football stadiums and all this, but this is one of the wonders of the world. I think it's quite nice to actually incorporate a bit of the culture in America, especially Las Vegas. It's not just a normal football vlog. It's showing all of the kind of sights we're seeing around in this trip, which is beautiful. I've got a confession to make. Beware of snakes. If you know me well, if you know me personally, I'm a massive, I've got a massive phobia of snakes. Massive phobia. And when I see signs of beware of snakes, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. Have you seen any snakes anywhere? Not yet. No, good, good, good. I'm glad you haven't. Sorry, this just looks, this doesn't look good to me. I'm so glad you don't know my heart rate right now. We've arrived at our next stop, our next viewing. We've just had our lunch. It was very nice. I was at some nice chicken or something. But what about this for a view? I've got no words at this point. This is just sensational. This is just... What? I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe to this video and leave a like. I really do recommend you do so. Lots more top content to come. Make sure you like and subscribe. Anyone who fears a heights, look away. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a mental one. Right, the next mission is to get right to the top. You've got to take it and you've absolutely got to take it. Once in a lifetime experience. I think the Grand Canyon's done. Okay, so it's the next morning after the incredible experience at the Grand Canyon. Today it's game day. We're going to be watching Las Vegas lights. I know they're great for their kits, but are they good as an experience as a whole? Right, as you can see, the day after the Grand Canyon, I'm very burnt. Very, very burnt. But we've got to take two buses to get to the stadium. I think it's about 9,000 capacity. I don't think it's going to be full whatsoever. I don't know what to expect, but we're on our way. Okay, so we've made it to this stadium. This is it just here. My family did not trust my navigation skills to get to the stadium, or at least the right area to enter, enter the stadium. So they've gone the other way. I've gone this way. It's meant to be around the corner. We might meet halfway, but then again, we're here. It was quite dangerous getting here, I must say. So I might get in, we will, no, it's not even a might. We will get an Uber on the way home because it's a lot more safer that way. But it is time to see what this is all about. On the other side is the field and apparently there's tents around the corner. I don't know, we'll see. Here we are, Las Vegas lights. This is the entrance we have to go through. And I learned a little fact that these players get rewarded, but they don't get rewarded by money. They get rewarded by casino chips, which I think is just mental. Obviously, as you know, Las Vegas, casinos, it's what it's known for. They just get casino chips as their rewards. Hi, how are you? Yeah, very good, man. Thank, Thank you so Cheers. much. Thanks. We've been told that it's bring your dogs <laughs> to the game day or something. What is there an alarm on? It's a good old alarm there. What's all this about? I thought it was bring your dogs. At least it's got a scarf and I respect it. Right then, we are through. But now it's time to find the shirts because I think that's what is amazing about this club is the shirts. In the UK, we really fascinate over these shirts because it's just so out there, so unique and so bright and with different colours and everything. We love it in the UK and I really want my hands on one. So here we are. Something's going off over there. I don't, don't really want to know what that is. But here is the pitch. Here is the club shop. These are the shirts. 
quite a right, wide selection, but you can see how bright it is. You can really see how bright these colours are. Eighty dollars. Yeah, I think this is more like it. That's a bit more like it. This is an actual shop now, not like a little pop-up store. We've got a bag full of shirts, three shirts to be exact. What a shirt this is. So I'm glad we've got our hands on this one. It's so wacky but so unique. It just had to be done. So this is the stadium. It's not as big as the stadium. Apparently it's gonna be about 5,000 fans here today. In the dugout, you've got so many different color like seats for the players, and of course, it's quite a decent little stadium. I'm not sure what concourse it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. The perimeter of it, I just, I just like the feel of it. It's a bit different. We're in the US, we're in Vegas, and we're about to watch the lights. And they say Viva Lights. So Viva the Lights. Okay, so it's about 20 minutes to kick off. And, um, as you can see, it's absolutely full around here. Really full. I'm just watching the players train right now, and I'll, I'll be honest, the intensity is so slow and not the best. So I'm not sure what I've got with my hopes for this game, if I'm honest. I really have no idea at this point, but fingers crossed there's more fans than there, what there is now. I don't know. Right, so we've got a llama over here, we've got a Scooby Doo looking like that, we've got Elvis Presley too. What's going on? So the last few games have had about 5,000 fans to me. I think they're barely strong to get 1,000 for this one, which is kind of surprising. Oh my God, this is so different to the UK. I don't know if I like it or not. What's going on? Oh my God, they all run in. This is so different. They introduce each player and they run one at a time. They all just run up. What's going on? This is so different. I have a little suspicion about the pre match oh, mascots and everything. Why is that? Why is that all this crazy on a motorbike at the other end? What am I witnessing? Wait, what? Elvis Presley with a smoke bomb on a bike. Elvis Presley on a bike with a smoke bomb. There is no way I'm witnessing this. What? what am I witnessing? Dad, come on, what's your prediction for this game? Hey, you got a clue. I think the dog in the coach is going to come on and score in the second half. So the dog's going to come on and score? I think the other team's going to win 2-1. 2-1, <laughs> I think 3-1 to the away team. I think it... What's going on? Oh, they're all running in. 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 At least they actually allow pyros in. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I rate that part. The atmosphere's pumping around it. Absolutely pumping. I'll tell you what, it's one of the best atmospheres I've been so far. The game hasn't kicked off yet. Incredible. So there's some drumming over here. But I'm trying to think whether it's actually drumming or a band. So there's four away fans over there. And they're thinking, is this a library? I'm not sure what they're on about. It's bloody buzzing around here. To make some noise for your defense. How about we get fired up for your defense? Get fired up for your defense. Oh, your yeah, defense. In the corner. Come on! What's going on? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. You've got to be hyped up for the defense if they can see you after that. Yeah, yeah. It's all because of the noise. Las Vegas Lights Fair just got booked and this, this song comes on. It's like different songs which comes on for different moments of the game. It's so strange. I know we think there's a band back there. There is a band. Oh, the Ultras. The Ultras are entering. And it's about nine minutes in. You're, you're nine minutes late, boys. The answers are the flags and everything. What's about it? So, the atmosphere's got to be better than it. Surely, here it is. I think this must be one of the weirdest experiences in games I've ever been to, and it's about 10 minutes in. Trumpets are out, the drums are out. And I'll tell you what, the announcer generally celebrates the yellow cards which are given out. Like, it's an achievement. Oh, limbs! Oh, the limbs are out there. Pyro! It's 1-0, the ball's way through. And he's not home, the player I said will be playing well. He scored. It's 1-0 to the Knights. The Pyro's are on. That's insane. Free kick to the Knights to make it 2-0. Oh. oh. Keeps coming, punches it out. But, but. Oh. In. Oh my. This pitch is very bubbly, so I, I, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but it may have bubbled. But I tell you what, it's quite 
unusual. But there's been two substitutions for the away side, and it's only been 35 minutes. Obviously tactical, but you don't really see that. Two subs in the first 35 minutes. So it's half time, and it's one of the last Vegas lights. In one of the most weirdest experiences I think I've ever had at a football match. To be quite honest, it would be dead here if it weren't for the music. I like the doggy derby. At you like the time. doggy derby? Basically, I didn't really show it, but it was kind of jar time. And, Dogs and were racing. Also, also, best mascot ever, Elvis. Elvis, he's oh, he's in the building today. This goes in. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Let's get behind the defense, Dad. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. What a save. GK. GK. GK with a save. Let's get behind our defense. We're getting behind the defense again. Come on, the defense. There's two minutes remaining in this game. Las Vegas Lights are beating a team who have actually won every single game and drawn one game. So they have not lost all season. As you can see, we're really enjoying our time here uh, and not falling asleep. Do you know Pepe was the ref? He's got a blow. That's it. Full time. Full time. Big win for the Lights. We've come to Las Vegas. We've conquered. It's one nil. Full time. And they'll be a team who have not lost this season. What they have now. Okay, so it's the day after the game right now. And, and I think I've only just recovered from the game and the experience. You can definitely tell through the crowd. And I did not know this beforehand. But I think this fixture and these occasions for the football matches or soccer games as they call it. It's more for the kids. And for, more for the kids like growing up, supporting football, getting into football. Because there was nothing like an adult kind of like going there to experience all this music, sign saying, make noise and all that. It was more for the kids enjoyment rather than the adults enjoying it, I think. And I feel like that's what my family um, kind of encountered in this fixture today. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video from Las Vegas. I may have been on holiday for a week, but I always find a way to go to a football game and share it with you guys. For the commitment and everything, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. I'm returning to the UK for the next vlog, so I'll see you guys very soon on the channel. Goodbye, guys.